You know, we hear a lot today about problems of young men not spending enough time with their dad. But that was never my case. My dad was self-employed most of my life. And so being the only son in a farming family, I worked with my dad all the time. Didn't get to play a lot of ball, but I was with my dad. And in hindsight, that was the foundation for my entire life, not just my career, but my life. In today's society, the need for a father figure is more necessary than at any other time. We as father figures help steer young men and women's hearts. Their goals in life have an opportunity to embed a love for the outdoors and have the responsibility to show them what hunting is truly about. You got it. You nailed it. You nailed it. Grant's father did just that. He invested his morals and ethics into him, buried them into his blood. And because of that investment, Grant now is an example to his girls. And through his platform, an example to many others of how we need to represent ourselves as hunters. Most young men have heroes of some type, usually off of TV or sports, something like that. But my hero was always my dad. He was my best friend, best man at my wedding. My dad passed recently. But the lessons he taught me, and most of those lessons were taught outside in an environment where we were connected with growing things and wild places. And a wild place doesn't necessarily mean the barb marsh or wilderness area. It could be that fence row out back where there's a covey quail hiding. But dad and I spent so much time chasing quail and rabbits and critters and the lessons he taught during that time of we're up early, we push hard, we stay in the code, we're always fair, we always give the animal the advantage, we never take over our limit, we're staying in the dark. Those lessons have been the cement that's held me together and through a career of leaving the university system and striking out on my own that work ethic my dad taught me has been the key to making it quite candidly but more important ethically to do it right even when it seems there's an easier path well, my dad taught me those lessons chasing rabbits in the briar patch to me hunting is not about to kill and i certainly enjoy the meat afterwards but hunting is about the experience it's not a tally or a rack on the wall Hunting to me is experience. And there was a famous philosopher, a Spanish philosopher, that over 100 years ago wrote, I kill so I can hunt. Because hunting with a camera is not quite the same. It's, a, it's about the blood. And, and so if you're paying, playing fair and using the ethics and playing by the rules, the odds are going to be in the critter's favor. That's the way state gave me inches and Gabe Minch, he said, especially in the North American wildlife model. But if you do that and you go through the getting up early and the cold and the mosquitoes and the gators if you're down south and the grizzly bears and you're in the upper Rockies and everything else, and you do happen to be successful on the odd chance you are, it's a sense of accomplishment with a reward that's unlike any other feeling I've personally felt in sports or anything else. It's, a, it's what we're built to do. It's what our bodies were built to do. And it's relaxing and tension at the same time. Life is a constant tension, as my dad taught me. And if you're not feeling a little tension, you're probably, probably not pushing hard enough. You're not expressing your full potential. You're cruising. And remember, cruising, coasting, only works downhill. If you want to get better, you got to push. 
and hunting requires you to push. My name is Grant Woods. I'm a Christian, I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm a hunter. Everyone has their own story. This is mine. It's in the blood.